Sarah here with the JDS Insider. Split monograms are a popular design choice in the personalization world. Today I'm going to show you how to create one in Corel. Let's get started. For this example, I'm using the last name Wilson. I'm going to start with my main capital letter, the W, and change it to my font of choice. For this one, I'm using just two basic lines to split the letter. So I'm going to start by grabbing my rectangle tool and drawing a rectangle by, and changing it to white to visually see where I want to cut the letter. Once I have it where I want to split the letter, I'm going to select all and go up to my trim tool. Clicking my trim tool is going to trim out where my rectangle is. This now leaving that space in my W. Then to create these two solid bars, I'm going to go over to my pen tool and click on the top line of my rectangle and draw a line straight across. And using my duplicate shortcut, I'm doing control D and bringing it to my bottom of the rectangle. I now have my two bars that I'm gonna change to black and pick a thickness of my choice depending on what I'm going to laser it on. Once I have that, I'm going to hit the letter C to center everything so we're nice and even. The length of the name is gonna determine how long your bars will be. So for my shorter name like this Wilson, I'm gonna shorten them up and recenter them back on my W. Now to maintain this line thickness, I wanna make sure that my template of my letter is converted to an object. This is gonna maintain that same line thickness no matter how large or how small my logo is going to be. It's now ready to laser on any of my product of choice. And now you know.